Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When Jesus looked up and he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest, for those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. God wills what he wills. And what God wills is eternal. When God opens a door, no one can shut it. And when God shuts a door, no one can open it. And so God's will is simple. God's divine will is simple. His divine will is that none should be lost and that all should come to a saving knowledge of the truth. That we might have eternal life. That's God's divine will. But there's also God's permissive will. And so his permissive will is ordered to his divine will. So all of the events in my life, all of the events in your lives are according to God's permissive will. All of the things that we experience that God permits in our lives are for us to learn and come to that saving knowledge of truth. Listen. Did you notice in the first reading from the book of the prophet Daniel, that this permissive will of God is very evident. It says that King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came and laid siege to Jerusalem. But then it says in the next verse that the Lord handed over to him Jehoiakim. Oh, the Lord handed him over. And then in verse 9, it says that God gave Daniel the favor and sympathy of the chief chamberlain. God gave. And in the verse 17, it says, to these four young men, God gave knowledge and proficiency in all literature, science, and to Daniel, the understanding of all visions and dreams. That's all according to God's permissive will. God permitted those things to happen. In other words, the point is, is that God directs all human events. He's in charge. God directs all human events. When he opens that door, nobody can shut it. And when he shuts that door, nobody can open it. And so here we have this poor widow, okay, who puts in these two small little coins that are almost worthless into the treasury. And Jesus says, she put in more than all of the others. Why? Because she understood this principle of God's permissive and divine will. She knew. She didn't have to. She gave everything she had. She trusted the Lord was going to take care of her and provide for her. She had no man in her life. If we understand this principle of God's permissive will being ordered to his divine will, then we act 
like that poor widow, we're not afraid. We're not afraid. But we are, to some extent, all of us, see, I don't know if I can go there, I don't know. It's because we really don't trust that principle yet. That God directs all human events.